Well, thank you for joining me for this uh, third video in this series of making this uh, miniature grandfather clock. So we start by um, trimming up some of the, the wood to size. And I'm actually taking this edge off here because it had a lot, quite a bit of worm in it. And uh, so I had to clean it up. And uh, so what I actually do is just get a bit of two by four and clamp it to the bench, then clamp the piece of wood to that and um, just take it down with a, a belt sander. What I'm doing now is I clamp a little piece of material that's um, narrower than the piece of material that I want to sand. I just clamp it to the bench and uh, bring it up, uh, bring the piece of material up to it and uh, just use it as a stop and the material just stays there. I'm using a very fine um, sandpaper on that um, belt sander which uh, takes it down quite nice actually. So I'm just um, cutting off now the um, the side panels to the uh, little clock and the uh, the other parts that uh, make up the clock case so now it comes to the gluing up well, now I'm satisfied that uh, and all the parts fit where they should uh, and everything's you know ready for the assembly part of it so um, it gets uh, get the glue out and um, start putting it together and what I decided to do is um, I glued the entire thing together in stages um, I didn't want to use um, brads or pins or screws or anything like that um, I did however use two screws just to keep uh, put the cap on the top uh, because you have to be able to um, you know remove a portion somewhere to be able to set the time right and um, put a new battery in from time to time so um, this is the process now of um, gluing and clamping and in between clamping um, I'm waiting about an hour or so for the glue to go off enough to uh, be able to take the clamps off and uh, take it to the next stage. So I've taken the clamps off now and um, I find it easier at this stage before anything else goes on to um, just sand everything all the way down so there's a you know you, you can't actually feel a join uh, it makes it very easy then for the final sanding um, anyway that's what I do now when I took the clamps off I found that um, one of the side panels had slightly moved while I was clamping that I didn't notice and uh, so you can see there's a ridge of about oh, just under a millimeter so um, I get my trusty little um, Makita plane out uh, and it, it does the job perfectly. Um, however, th there was a couple of um, marks that I actually put in it that um, I had to uh, re-sand out. But um, anyway, it took the whole surface down uh, to a nice even level um, area. So just a last look at uh, what the finished item is going to generally look like before I glue the um, 
the case parts on or the dummy case parts on and um, so yeah just um, glue up these um, pieces it's quite a simple process of um, gluing and clamping Incidentally, all the music that I put into my videos, and the main reason I put uh, music in my videos is uh, because of uh, to drown out some of the wind noise and the rain noise, because it's winter down here in Australia. And um, I'm sure you don't want to hear all that going on in the background. Um, but it, the music is all provided by uh, Google and uh, YouTube. If you're a... Uh, uh, if you contract to Google, they supply you with uh, music that you can use um, in your videos, and uh, it's it's really really nice and well made music. And uh, all I put the artist's names and the tracks at the end credits uh, of the video. If you're interested in uh, purchasing or uh, acquiring the uh, the music. What I'm doing now is I'm, I'm doing sort of a countersunk hole um, to attach the uh, cap or the top onto the main body. Um, and I'm going to show you an interesting little tool that I've I've used for, for years. It's really just a piece of wood with a hole through it and it um, limits how far the, the drill will actually drill into the material. And uh, it's a very simple and useful idea. So now it's uh, time actually to do the sa the finished sanding by hand. I think um, all woodworkers, um, th this is probably the most disliked job. Um, you know, it can make your fingers sore and <laughs> what have you, especially as you, as you get older in your 60s. Uh, it does actually get harder to do, but um, you sort of persevere and there's actually nothing better than finishing it by hand with a very fine I think I'm using 450 paper there and uh, taking off any 
any little pieces and making sure it's all nice and smooth and you, you do it with your hand you know the, these orbital sanders and what have you they're okay they're good and I do use them but nothing like doing it by hand Okay, so here's my favorite bit coming up, the finishing. I'm using cedar oil uh, for this. I did toy with the idea of um, full gloss varnish, but uh, the wife decided, no, she'd rather have cedar oil on it, and uh, she didn't want full gloss. So, um, you know, I was making it for my wife, so what she wants, she gets. <laughs> so cedar oil it was. And uh, it, it, it does a very, very good finish. It's sort of a, it's a semi sheen and uh, it really brings out the texture of the wood. This is probably one of the easiest uh, types of finishing actually uh, rather than you know sort of varnish and doing it with a paintbrush just putting it on with a rag and uh, it and that's a little bit of fiddle back there that you can see in that uh, oak panel and um, I just thought I'd throw that in <laughs> but yeah look I prefer to finish things like this I think um, because it's it's very easy and uh, you can put on uh, about three or four coats of this and it's perfect finish also here we go we're going to uh, assemble the clock part now very easy mechanism just put you can actually be, be very careful and pull the the uh, minute and the hour hand off carefully and um, just pop the battery and take the nut off the um, the beginning the the shaft and just pop it through make hopefully you've got the right size hole and um, just put the washer and the nut on and uh, the th trick is with this to don't do it up too tight just ease it up firm only uh, they very will break very very easy I better put it to the right time <laughs> so um, yeah and you just push the um, push the hands back on very gently because don't forget it's a clock mechanism these clock mechanisms are about five dollars on eBay Isn't that beautiful? Well, I hope you've liked uh, these last three videos of um, designing this in, in ArtCam and um, making this uh, on the CNC machine and then um, putting it all together. Um, please press like and uh, subscribe to my channel. On my channel, you'll see 
uh, at CAM. Uh, you'll also see uh, CSE routing, like I've just mentioned. Um, I do a lot of wood turning and um, laser work and CNC um, milling machines on, on metal, which is a new segment that I'm going into. Um, Plus, uh, I, I like old tools, um, good old-fashioned tools, and the next video, um, I'll be reconditioning um, a DeWalt 740 PowerShop uh, radial arm saw, uh, which uh, actually I gave you a, a little glimpse on the preceding video to this, so that's coming up for the next uh, video or two. So, Thank you for joining me, and uh, it's, as always, bye for now.